now the latest on July 10th around the wide world of tropics. Here's your tropical weather bulletin. Taking centre stage today is Invest 92L which will form in the next few days by the looks of things in the Gulf of Mexico. It's July 10th, 32 storms have formed so far around the world and nothing else is on the horizon at the moment. Day 40 of the Atlantic hurricane season and Invest 92L has a 90% chance of development in the northeastern Gulf of Mexico. Day 57 in the eastern Pacific and no storms are active with a small chance of development for an area of interest in the eastern area. No systems active in the western Pacific or in the North Indian Ocean again. Very quiet in this area as too in the southern hemisphere although you expect that a little bit more of course because it is out of season down there. Invest 92L is the headline obviously with winds of 30 miles per hour and a pressure of 1010 millibars. We're currently putting it at this position here which is 76 miles south southeast of Apalachicola, Florida, 28.7 north, 84.6 degrees west. It's looking more like this might be where our circulation is forming. Over the next few days we expect the system to develop into a tropical cyclone uh, and probably reach mid-range tropical storm status, although some models say for quite a bit higher than that, so we can't rule out the possibility of this system becoming a hurricane in the Atlantic this week. Looking at the wind shear graphic, you can see how the flare-ups have really been occurring in the last few hours on visible. Uh, but looking at the markers there, wind shear around 5 knots, maybe even less than that nearby. Um, 10 knots further east and west. It's in a little uh, nice pocket right now, which is prime for development over 31 degrees Celsius waters. Looking at the North Atlantic as a whole, we were looking at this imagery yesterday wondering where 92L would appear from. Uh, now you can see on today's imagery just how, um, how much more prevalent and uh, potent it is today. And certainly um, putting on a show with all of that convection. It's the dominant feature now in the Gulf of Mexico as we look towards the top part of that image with the system developing. The Eastern Pacific is pretty dead now. Um, you can still see the bare remnants of Cosme moving off towards the northeast there um, off the coast of Mexico. Further south there's a few little tropical disturbances there but not much going on. You can still just about make out the remnants of Barbara as well which are now well clear of Hawaii. The Western Pacific is also fairly quiet. Another little tropical disturbance down there over the Micronesian Islands. There are plenty of those that go through every year. Not all of them are counted, but in years gone by, some of them used to be, and it's not uncommon, not uncommon for 100 tropical waves to pass through the Western Pacific in a calendar year. That there is just one of them. The Australia and South Pacific region looks like this. Uh, you can see not too much going on at all, actually. Uh, just one or two tiny little disturbances, not much more than an odd thunderstorm. The Indian Ocean looking like this, more monsoonal patterns occurring in the eastern part of India over to Bangladesh. Uh, but apart from that, it is a very quiet basin, just like the West Pack. The sea surface temperatures look like this. You can see particularly off the coast of Louisiana right now just how warm those waters have gotten in the last week. They were only about 28, 29 last week. Now they're pushing 32 degrees Celsius off the coast of Louisiana. So that is very notable when we're talking about the potential impact zone of 92L. We're currently putting its potential impact zone near Camwin, Louisiana, but that could change east or west. The Indian Ocean looking like that over there, around 28 degrees or so generally. The Philippines Sea, the hotspot in the Western Pacific, 30 or 31 degrees Celsius, quite common, uh, quite common in that area. Invest 92L is currently pictured here. You can possibly see a little bit of rotation occurring near the Florida Bend region. Not a huge amount, it has to be said. There are one or two superficial little circulations that were blowing around uh, heading towards the west-southwest earlier today. They have dissipated. So we're waiting to see when there is actually a bona fide sensor that is developing there. So uh, we are waiting for the next named storm in the Atlantic. It will be Barry if 92L gets tropical storm status. The next name in the Eastern Pacific is Delilah. The Central Pacific is waiting for Akoni. The Westpac 
Danas is coming up on the naming list there. The North Indian Ocean will have Hika as its next name. You can find Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com with the latest. You can also find our YouTube page, search Force 13 all in text, and subscribe if you haven't so far. And you can find our Facebook and Twitter pages too, under the same name, search Force 13. You can comment and you can send us a message on any of those mediums too, we'll get back to you if needed. And that's all for now, we'll be back again tomorrow. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force 13. You can also contact me on Discord. It's fool13 at extension 9094 and force13 on Skype. You can also find our server link to our Discord server for tropical weather chat in our description.